It's the flight 21. 21 going to Tampa, now to gate 25. They woke up at the crack of dawn for their 7 a.m. flight. For many of these 11 and 12 year olds, it was their first time on a plane and their first trip to Florida. Now these kids aren't going to Florida for any summer vacation at Disney World. They're going to play ball and they're serious about winning. It's not really a vacation, it's just going down there to play ball. And, I mean, I'm, if, we, if we get a few days off, that means we've been waiting. So if we get a few days off, maybe I'll have some chance to have some fun. First round, I'm going to get left-handed curveballs, and I'm moving, I'll throw fastballs. As state champions, Chesterfield will now play in a tournament against 12 other nationally recognized teams in St. Petersburg. And if they win there, the team will have a date in Williamsport, Pennsylvania for the 1995 Little League World Series, a trip that would be a dream come true for starting pitcher John Swadna. I've never dreamed we would get this far, but I see we're here, and we can only go farther. Manager Nelson Marshall has been coaching Little League for nearly 20 years, but he's never had a team make it this far and says it's a big step for these future stars. It's a stepping stone for them because a lot of them have never been outside probably the state of Virginia to play baseball. And going to Florida of all states, nice hot humid Florida to play ball, uh, they're looking forward to it. But can these players compete with some of the best young talent in the country? We have a chance. I we have a real good chance, but we just got to play to our ability, and I think we can do it. Since we started playing baseball. So as the players get one last team pep talk, the kids and parents both hope when they return next week, they will be making right even more travel plans, plans that may include the national spotlight. All right, we're going to Florida. What are we going to do? <laughs> Win! In Chesterfield County, Chris O'Connell, News Channel 6. On three, we're going to see Virginia All-Star.